Hi everyone, so I'm getting some third-party energy updates. There's some things that the karmic does not want you to know and they things that the karmic does not want the DM to know either. Um, these karmics are, they're hitting that breaking point and it would be funny if it wasn't so sad and pathetic. Like, like it's kind of amusing. Oh, okay. I'm going to get into some crap on this video, let me tell you. I'm pissing the karmics off and I find it hilarious. I honestly do. I find it hilarious. It's just, it's ridiculous. Like, why would anyone want, why do these karmics want someone that would not touch them with a 10 foot pole? Like, I will never be able to fathom that. But, um, but anyway, for those of you that are used to my, my regular Zodiac readings, I will be doing those on the first as planned. This is the third party reading. If you're not in this specific third party group, this probably isn't for you. I mean, you're free to watch, but there is going to be some drama in this video. You know, I'm going to tell you guys. This is, um, these third party readings are very blunt. They're very honest. It's not like my usual readings where I kind of, I wouldn't say I ever sugarcoat things. I mean, I'm always pretty blunt and honest, but like these ones were channeling stuff like STDs, jail time, court, you know, custody cases like things like that, things of that nature, you know, because these karmics are crazy. They're just, they're ridiculous. They're so sad and pathetic. Like, oh, and this comes out in these videos. So please just keep that in mind. You know, this might not be for you. It might, you know, you might want to just stick around for my regular Zodiac readings that I'll post on the first, but you know, I just want to give that warning for those of you that are not trying to get into all this drama. But, um, anyway, I had a I had some pathetic, sad little karmic troll me and comment on my page today, and I thought it was the most fucking hilarious thing ever. She went off, and YouTube didn't even approve it. They did, they automatically, they didn't even bother approving it. I just saw the comment, and I wasn't even going to entertain that, but, you know, if, if this little troll is still watching me, just to answer your question, because she was, she was talking about, she was talking shit about the DFs and being like, oh, why did... You know, why would the DF be better than the karmic? Why would, you know, what, like, just talking all this stupid shit, things that she knows nothing about. And to answer your question, on the D Divine Feminine's worst day, like at her worst, when even if she's jobless, even if she has a job, whatever her situation is, at her very worst, she is more beautiful inside and out than the karmic will ever be. At the Divine Feminine's very lowest point, she is still a much better person than the karmic will ever be. At the Divine Feminine's ugliest, she's still more beautiful than the karmic will ever be. Like, at the Divine Feminist's lowest point, at her worst, the masculine will still love her a hundred times more than he ever has or ever will love the karmic. Like, I'm just, I'm seeing a lot of karmics get pissed, you know, not just the one I'm dealing with, but others too. And it's just, it's, it's like funny. It's funny to me. It's like, they're, I don't even take them seriously. They're just, they're so pathetic. Like, how is anyone that pathetic? Like, how would, why would someone go through all that trouble for a man that does not even want them? A man that does not find them beautiful and does not find them desirable, does not want anything to do with them. Like, how do these divine, how do these karmics not feel pathetic? It's like, anyway, I have a third party update though. And I just want to say if that troll is watching, you know what, go ahead and email me. I'm glad, do it, email me. I'm not going to approve your comments on here. YouTube's not going to approve them. My YouTube channel's protected. Like my followers are protected. My channel, anyone that's on my channel is of high vibration. Anyone that's here is protected automatically with this energy. So I'm I'm not phased by you. I'm not worried. You can comment on every video if you want. You're still a joke. You're still pathetic. In fact, the more comments you leave, the more pathetic you are. Like, it's just... And I notice other feminines, I just want to say, because this isn't about me. This is... I mean, I'm in this energy group, but I'm channeling for all of you guys. Because a lot of you, like, the situations are different where you're dealing with different things with the karmic. But it's all pretty much the same story. Does that make sense? So like, yeah, some of you don't have channels and you're just dealing with the karmics in other ways where she's trying to threaten you. She's some of these karmics are thinking about calling you or messaging you or they're making fake uh, Facebook accounts and trying to add you as a friend and you're getting some weird shady vibes. It's just the karmics. I just want to say the karmics are at, the, at their wits end. This is the final. This is the breaking point. 
So Divine Masculines, if you're in this energy group and you're watching this, I just want to say you have to be strong and watch your back right now more than ever. But also as, as chaotic as this energy might be, also feel peace knowing that these karmics are at that final point we talked about in my earlier videos. Like they are at that point where they're breaking. These karmics are breaking. They're, you know, they're, they're breaking into a thousand little pieces. Everything that's, that they're trying to send out to the, the feminine is coming back on them tenfold. That's the thing. Like their threats are just illusions. And that's what you guys have to realize. Some of you take the karmics too seriously. Like see them as, it's like a little spider that's intimidating you. It's nothing. Just crush it. it like it's, it's pathetic. Some of these karmics are actually trying to get other people in on this too. They're trying to, they're trying to get like the divine feminines, like friends or family or whoever, like people to like side with them. If they know if this is for those of you that the karmic knows the divine feminines, friends or family, like they're trying to get people to help them because they know that they have nothing and they know that they're powerless. They're weak. You know, like we've channeled before, I've channeled the karmics trying to do black magic. And it's like, it's like a little girl trying to light a candle and not realizing that there might be a couple little imps working with her, but like the really powerful gods and goddesses and angels and dragon spirits and other, other beings take these karmic, they don't take these karmic seriously. They take them as a joke. Like, and the karmic's about to lose something big. I feel like the karmics are about to lose a house or they're about to lose a car within the next month for some of them. And that's their own karma. That's them doing it to themselves. They're going to, they're going to, everything that they've thrown on the divine feminine and on the masculine is coming back to them tenfold. So, and the, it's sad. It's, it's like someone in like eight of swords energy where it's like, they don't even realize they're doing it to themselves. Like the, it's, <laughs> it's like a little girl just like punching at the air. Like she's not hurting anybody. She's not hurting the masculine or the feminine. They're both safe. They're, they might be kind of annoyed. It, it's their karmics are a pest, but they're not actually these karmics are not actually phasing the feminine. Like they're not, they're just not, they're not powerful enough to, and they never will be. And it's, oh God. Anyway, let me get to the point. It's like, it's funny. It's pathetic though. It's kind of sad. It's, it's kind of like, it's sad, but it's just kind of hilarious at the same time. But there's something, okay, so what I channeled, though, is that there's something here that the karmics really do not want the divine masculine to know, and so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know what that is. The karmics right now, as I've said, and it's strange because I feel like a lot of them, were, a lot of them are giving up. You know, they are, they really are giving up, but I think some of them are kind of at that, you know, that ten of swords, like that breaking point, like they have nothing left to lose, might as well just go all out, go crazy, see what they can do. So, but, but this is part of the process. This is part of them giving up. So masculines, you really have to be strong right now. You have to block these bitches physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, you know, visualize like a shield of light around yourself. Um, don't let them know where you live. You have to be safe. It's really important. Don't give them, you know, block their number. For some of you, you really do need to just block their numbers because it's not, it's not going to change. It's just going to be the same drama over and over. But, but like I said, it's actually a really beautiful energy because I know that like the divine feminines and masculines that are in this energy are probably a little bit stressed out because they're feeling these psychic attacks. And I just want to say you guys are good. Like you don't even need to worry about it. You don't, you know what I mean? Like you can do a reversing candle if you feel, if you feel called to, to send that energy back to them. But I'm just saying that the divine is doing so much on your behalf already. Anyone coming up against you is going to have bad karma, like bad karma, like they've never known. Like I said, these, these karmics are about to lose something big. Like they're about to lose a house or a car is what I'm getting or a large sum of money. Cause I'm just getting something about like, I'm seeing like pentacles, like some kind of, um, could be a job. Honestly, if they're wishing you ill, then they might end up losing a job, but they never thought they would lose. Because I'm just seeing this pentacles energy. So it's something with like financial stability. Like I think the divine is just going to step in and basically take something from them. And, you know, if they want to keep going, the divine can take more from them. It's up to them. But um, but anyway, what I'm feeling here is what the karmics do not want the masculines to know is that everything the karmic is threatening to do to the feminine, she's going to do whether you guys are in contact or not in contact. 
Because I feel like for some of you, you're either not in contact with your, like for the feminines, you're either not in contact with your masculine or you are in contact, but like maybe they, maybe it's like short contact here and there. Like maybe they've told you like, Hey, I got to deal with this crazy bitch. Give me some time to deal with them. And you're just, you know, it's short messages and you're getting frustrated because you want to talk to them more. But like either way, I feel like all the feminines know that that's their person. Like, I don't feel, you know what I mean? Like the feminines just aren't as phased by the karmic as the karmic likes to think they are. <laughs> and it's just, oh my God, it's like amusing. It's such a shit show. It's like a train wreck. You just like, oh, but anyway, so this secret that I feel that with the karmics hiding well, two things. Okay, so masculines, this is, well, this is for masculines or feminines, you know, whatever, whatever energy you're in. I feel like what the karmic is hiding is, for one, she's close to giving up. She's giving up within the next month. This is part of the process of her giving up. Is that she's thinking, well, you know, he's already left me. He doesn't want me. He clearly would not touch me with a 10 foot pole. You know, what else do I have to lose? I've already lost, I'm already losing everything. You know, they're at rock bottom. They're like, these karmics are like depressed. They're, and they're not even, it's really pathetic because they're not even depressed about losing the masculine. These karmics are all about money. They're depressed that they're losing the masculine's money. They're depressed that they're losing the appearance of having a happy family. They wanted society to, to you know, think that they were all well put together and now their true colors are showing. I feel like these masculines vouch for the karmics a lot, like, you know, told people like, oh, she's not, you know, she's, yeah, she, she hits me once in a while or she yells once in a while. She throws things. She goes through my phone, but you know, she's just been through a lot. She's not crazy. Um, so they kind of needed the masculines to keep telling people that they're not crazy. And now that the masculine, now that they don't have that shield anymore, the masculine sees right through them. That truth has already been revealed. The masculine already sees through them, you know, and the karmics tried so hard to be like the feminine. These pathetic little soulless and succubus spirits tried so hard to be like the divine feminine and the masculine saw right through it and thought it was pathetic and ridiculous. Some of these karmics tried to dress like the divine feminine, talk like her, do whatever. And honestly, I, just, I see the masculines making this face like, ew, like she can she can wear that. She can pull that outfit off. You can't like <laughs> I feel like some of these. No, I don't want to talk. I don't want to I don't want to offend any of the divine feminines that might have that body shape but let me just say and this okay I don't want to say that because because this this chant there's no there's not going to be any body shaming here okay I just want to say let me just put it this way divine feminine whatever your body shape is there's certain outfits that you can pull off really well that look beautiful on you and she might have tried to do the same thing and it looked ridiculous on her so even if you're like a divine feminine and you're overweight you still look beautiful in what you wear and so, like, maybe the karmic tried to wear that, too, and it just didn't look right on her body type or or vice versa. You know, whatever it is. It's like she tried to talk like you, dress like you, be like you, and the, the masculine saw through it, and he thought it was ridiculous. He thought she looked like a damn clown. Like, so the, these masculines in this energy group have already seen through the karmic. They already think she's pathetic. They already have no respect for her, and that respect's not coming back, to be honest. You know? But a lot of these karmics want the masculine to um to be their shield you know to tell people like oh she's not crazy because now now the whole ta everyone's talking everyone's seeing the karmic's true colors because the masculine is not her shield anymore he sees her true colors now too so he's not going to go back to telling all his friends or family or whoever like oh she's not crazy she's just damaged or she just has mental illness or this or that like at this point he's like no like this bitch is crazy like he's telling his friends and family he's like nah like I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I was wrong. This bitch is crazy. I am glad I dodged that bullet. I am glad I got out of there when I did. Masculine, you made the right decision getting out of there. Be strong. Be strong. Do not give her any way to contact you. Do not let her come over. Don't go over to her. You need to stay strong no matter what. Um, anyway, I'm sorry. Sometimes when I channel, I get on a little, you know, tangent. So what I was saying is so there's two really important things that the karmic does not want the masculine or the divine feminine to know. The first thing is, I'm sorry to go back to this. I just, like I said, I get on a tangent when I, when I channel sometimes. The first thing is that the karmic is giving up. 
this is her giving up. I know it seems like it's more chaotic than ever. There's more drama than ever, you know, because she kind of, you know, stepped back for a little bit to kind of plan. And now she's coming coming at both of them full force. And this is like she's at rock bottom. So this is that breaking point where masculines, if you stay strong, like you don't go back to her, you stay, stay in whatever living situation you're in away from her. Do not give her your address. If you change your phone number, don't give her your new phone number. Don't let her contact you. Keep her blocked. Um, you know, no matter what kind of sob story she gives you. And she will. She will. You know, these karmics are ridiculous. So some of them will say, oh, I'm going to hurt myself if you don't come over right now. And like I said, masculines be like, okay, I'll call 911. I'm not prof I'm not a professional. I'm not going to deal with that. I'll go ahead and call 911 for you. You know, because some of them will try to like, I feel like, I, I don't know. I keep seeing like a karmic, like sending a masculine pictures of like pills or something, but it's not even like the pills that he thinks it is. It's like, it's like she's sending him like pictures of like someone else's prescription or something. Like she's so, oh my gosh, these karmics are so pathetic. And she's like, you know what I mean? Like she's trying to, I, cause I see one of these, one of these karmics specifically, like setting the stage and sending him like pictures of like pills or like, oh, this is how I'm going to do it. Okay, like masculines, take that evidence and call 911 and have her put on 72 hour holds. You know what I mean? You're not a professional. You don't have to deal with that. Don't don't deal with it. Just don't. It's to manipulate you. You know what I mean? It's it's to manipulate you. You need to be smarter than that. You know that. You know it's to manipulate you. So you guys need to be strong. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, so the first thing that they don't want you guys to know is that they are at that breaking point where it's like like I said, like this is, is, this is the chaotic point. This is like, it was like what we were talking about. What was that? Like two, three weeks ago where I was like, you know, you guys have to be strong right now because they're going to try everything. They are going to try to threaten to hurt themselves. They're going to try to, you know, try to use your kids against you. And the kids are going to see right through that. You don't even need to worry about that. Don't be phased by that. Um, or they're going to try to come after the divine feminine or they're going to try to, they're going to threaten this and they're going to threaten that. And no matter what they threaten, you have to be strong. And if they're threatening something bad enough, call the police. You know what I mean? If they're threatening, like, to hurt themselves or something, go ahead and call 911. You know? Get it on file. Call 911. But they're going to threaten. They're going to try to pull everything, every little illusion they can think of. Some of these karmics are trying to make the divine masculine think that the feminine is with somebody else, too, which isn't true. And the masculine knows that's not true. You know what I mean? Like, the, the feminine is loyal. She knows that he's just dropping things up with these crazy bitches. You know, I mean, the, the collective feminines, they know. Either they're in contact or they're not, but either way, they know. Most of you guys, I think, are in contact. Like, you have had these messages here and there where, you know, the, the masculine's like, hey, I need to wrap things up with this crazy-ass bitch, and then I'm coming home to you. You know? Like, the feminines know already. <laughs> um, oh, my gosh. It's just such a ridiculous energy. It's, it, it's funny. Like, it's... Oh, it's just funny because it's like a little ant. Like the karmics are just so small and so pathetic. It's like a little, little baby ant trying to be scary. And it's like, oh my God, no, you're not scary. You're just ridiculous. Oh, like they don't realize how stupid they look. <laughs> but, um, but anyway. So yeah, that's what they don't want you to know. That's one of the things. There's another thing I want to get into too. But the first thing is that they're at that breaking point, which is what we talked about a few weeks ago, where I was like, you guys have to be strong now more than ever. And right now we're at that point where it's been building up. Some of them kind of like laid low for a while and now they're coming back full force because they're at that point where they're like, damn, I've already lost him. So what else do I have to lose? I might as well threaten to do this and this and this. I might as well threaten to hurt his feminine. I might as well threaten to hurt myself. I might as well threaten, you know, threaten custody or threaten, um, you know, to do this or this or this. And you guys have to be strong more than ever and you have to protect yourselves. And you have to just, you have to just stay in your power masculines. You have to be strong. You have to be logical. You have to stay in your power. You have to not give in to this, these succubuses illusions. And yeah, just be smarter. Just keep shielding yourself both physically and telepathically, like visualizing shields, but also physically you need to keep yourself safe. Because like I said, these bitches are pathetic. Like they don't even care that you don't want them. They just, they want the control. Like they're so, oh my gosh, they're, they're hilarious. They're sad, but hilarious at the same time. But like some of them are like the slit your tires type. So like I said, you do need to watch your vehicles. You do need to, you know, make sure that you keep your address to yourself. Make sure that you, you know are protecting yourself physically as well. 
Um, you know, don't give people your address. Don't give strangers your address. Don't put it online. You know, don't give your information out to anybody. You know, really be safe with that. But, um, but yeah, it's beautiful, though, because it's like, yes, it's super chaotic right now, which makes sense, too, because it's Mercury retrograde. So this is going to be a really purging Mercury retrograde for us. But, you know, come November, divine feminine and masculine are going to be reunited happier than ever if they're not already reunited, that is. But, um, but yeah, the karmic's giving up. So she's pulling out. This is like, this is that, that, like the chaotic peak that we were talking about. Remember I was saying a few weeks ago, I'm like, it's building up to that. This is that peak where she's going to pull on everything she can to try to get him back because it's like, what does she have left to lose? It's like 10 of swords energy. She's at rock bottom. So now is the point more than anything, divine masculines. Now is the point where you have to stay strong and not cave no matter what. I don't give a shit if her car is broken down and she's in the middle of the desert. Tell her to call one of her friends. She's threatening to hurt herself. You know, tell her to call 911. It doesn't matter what she's threatening. You have to protect yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. You have to be smart. You have to be strong. And you have to just shield yourself from her. And, you know, like I said, this is that breaking point. So this is now she's going to she's going to pull everything out of her hat, everything she can think of. And if you cave to even just one little thing, you're going to be back to square one with her. Even something as simple as like going to help her change her tires or something when she calls you with crocodile tears begging because she needs help with something. It's crocodile tears. It's a setup. It's a setup. You need to be safe. But um, yeah, she's at that breaking point. So that's what she does not want you to know that she's actually within the next month or so. I see them giving up, but you can't you can't give in. You have to be strong. You can't give in either, even once because if you do, you're going to start back at square one where you're going to have another three, four, six months of drama, however long. But if you stay the course and you just stay strong and you isolate from her, you shut her out, you keep her blocked and you keep yourself protected, you know, not giving her address, not giving her any information, just not entertaining her drama when she tries to wrap you into it. Just, you know, ending the call, hanging up on her if you haven't already blocked her number. But um but yeah, it's like, you know, stay strong. Because if you do that, then she actually, like I said, she's, this is the most chaotic it's going to get. This, what you're going to, what you're dealing with the next week or two, like what she's doing right now, this is the most chaotic it's going to get because she's desperate. She knows she has nothing else to pull from. So no matter what she says or does, you have to keep protecting yourself. You have to keep isolating and staying away from her and staying strong. And she's going to exhaust herself. Let her exhaust herself. Let her be trapped with her own drama. You know, these karmics hate themselves and with good reason. They're pathetic. Why wouldn't they hate themselves? You know, these karmics are crazy. Like, I normally don't even say that about karmics because, you know, some karmic relationships are positive. These karmics are just trash. They're pure trash. These are like succubus souls or like soulless women. It's like they're, they're, they're weak. They're pathetic. So masculine, stay strong. Yes, it's chaotic right now, but if you stay strong, they're they're gonna give up. But you can't cave, not even once, not even once. Okay, masculines. The second thing that the karmic does not want the masculines to know, and this is pretty important, is some of these karmics. Well, like I said, some of these karmics are trying to plot with the the feminine's friends or whatever people from their past, and. <laughs> It's like whatever friends are helping the karmic or old friends, like they're going to get fucked with the karmic. They're going to lose everything, too. They're going to end up losing a, a job, a house. You know, things are going to go to shit for them, too. They don't realize that the divine is on the divine feminine side. These karmics and anyone helping them are going down. Like they're going down in ways like like homelessness, like like sh crazy shit. Like the divine isn't even going to mess around. This is almost going to be too dark for, for the feminines. Like the divine is going to step in and fuck their lives up. And like some of the feminines are too empathetic to even deal with it. Some of the divine feminines are just going to be like, damn, I don't even want to know what's going on with the karmic. Like, like they're going to feel bad for the karmic. It's going to be that intense. Um, but anyway, the second thing that I wanted to tell, you know, you guys tell, tell the masculines particularly is some of these karmics are threatening to come after the divine feminine. And I want to say that they're threatening to um, to come after the divine feminine, like, you know, through witchcraft, like through dark magic, or they're threatening to try to come after her stability or, 
you know, threatening to, to talk to her friends or to do this or there, you know, there's some of them are stalking. Some of them are stalking the divine feminine on social media. Some of them are doing background checks and they can't do shit. They can't, they cannot take anything that's meant for the divine feminine. And you guys need to know that. And what the karmic does not want the masculines to know is that, so the karmics, a lot of these karmics are threatening the masculines and saying like, come back to me, stay with me, be with me. And it's like, God, it's so pathetic. Like, can you, like divine feminines, can you ever imagine like begging a man to come back and saying, I'm going to like, I'm going to hurt someone if you don't like, how pathetic is that? How fucking ridiculous. Like, I wouldn't like, why would they want someone that wouldn't touch them with a 10 foot pole? I would never want that. Like, the Divine Feminines wouldn't ever want that. That's just, this is like karmic energy. Karmics are just that pathetic. They don't even care. But anyway, as I was saying, what they don't, what these karmics don't want the masculine to know is that their threats that they're, that they're talking about, the threats that they're, you know, talking about doing or, or whatever, they're already doing those things. And they're not phasing the Divine Feminine. That's what you need to know. Because some of these karmics are messaging the divine masculines and they're saying, don't you dare talk to her or I'm going to hex her or I'm going to stalk her or I'm going to, you know, find her family's info or her friend's info and go after them. Or I'm going to, um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Like just pathetic fucking energy. And so some of your masculines are like, they're scared because they don't, they don't love the karmic. They don't give a shit about the karmic. But they want to protect the divine feminine. So with some of these masculines, it's like, you guys need to be smarter. You need to not give in to her illusions like that. Because what she's threatening to do to, do the, to the, the feminine, that's, this is the thing. These karmics are threatening. They're, they're threatening the masculine. They're threatening to hurt the divine feminine or come after the divine feminine if he reaches out or if he comes over or if he starts you know, a relationship with her or whatever. For those of you that are in separation... But the thing is, the karmics, what she doesn't want the masculine to know is that she's doing those things anyway. So she's texting him and saying, I'm going to hex your divine feminine unless you do this and this and this. So then he, he submits and he does what she wants. Little does he know she's hexing the divine feminine anyway. Everything that she's threatening to do to the divine feminine, if he reaches out, she's doing those things to her anyway. You feel me? Like she's, she's a sneaky little bitch. They're sneaky little bitches. So, so yeah, masculines be smarter than that because like I said, these karmics are messaging you guys and saying, you know, saying they're going to hex the feminine or they're going to come after her here or there, or they're going to message her. Little do you know, and, and, you know, a lot of these masculines are like submitting because they're like, okay, I don't want you to do that. Fine. Like we'll compromise. But little do these masculines know the karmic is already doing those things. She's telling him like, oh, she, like the karmic saying, oh, I won't hex the divine feminine as long as you do this. So the masculine the divine masculine, you know, agrees with her or whatever, makes, you know, some kind of compromise with her. And then the karmic goes ahead and hexes the divine feminine anywhere. She comes after her, you know, work or whatever else anyway. Like she's going to do all the things she's threatening to do. She's doing those things anyway behind your back, masculines. You guys need to know that, you know. So you're not protecting your divine. For those of you in separation, you're not protecting your divine feminine by being distant. You're actually making things harder. So... For those of you in no contact, you might as well contact your divine feminine because the karmic is going to be a crazy bitch and she's going to do what she's doing regardless of whether you're in contact with your person or not. So please stop listening to her threats. Also, like I've said before, the karmic can't do shit. It's, it's like that little comment I got from one of the karmics on my, on my YouTube channel today. It's like it didn't even phase me. I just thought it was funny. It's like it's sad. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. Like, it's pathetic. Like, just their true colors are just shining through. Just how, how weak they are. How pathetic they are. How jealous and insecure they are. Like, they'll never be like the Divine Feminine. And that's the, that's the funny thing. Is they'll try, to, they'll try to say this or that, that about the Divine Feminine. But on the Divine Feminine's worst day, she's still a hundred times more successful, more abundant, more spiritual, more psychic than these karmics will ever be. And they know that. They know that the divine feminine has powers that they're they're never going to have. The karmics are never going to have those kind of powers because they don't deserve them. So I just want to say that, like, whatever the karmic's threatening, that's the second thing. Whatever the karmic's threatening to do, DM, she's already doing it. 
She's already hexing. She's already doing this. She's already doing that. She's already trying to stalk the feminine and get info on her. She's doing all the things because she's telling she's telling these DMs, you know, or, or the, these karmics are telling these DMs like, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that to the feminine and whatever else. But just, you know, just do this, like trying to blackmail him, basically, which you can sue for, by the way. But anyway, you know, trying to blackmail him and tell him, you know, like, just just do this, just do that. And you know, I won't, I won't hex her. I won't do this. But the thing is, she's, she's turning around and hexing the divine feminine behind the masculine's back. So you need to be aware of that, that it, it makes no difference whether you're in contact with your divine feminine or not. These bitches are going to be just as crazy, regardless of whether you're in contact with your divine feminine. And you need to know that, that you're not protecting them by being distant. It's actually, you're going to be much stronger together as a couple so, you know, because like when your divine feminine is with you, she has that, it's like that balance, that true love energy and true love conquers all. It's really true. So, you know, give into true love, give into that, that, that true love energy. And it's actually going to make both of you much stronger. And this isn't something you guys have to be going through alone separately. You guys should be going through this together. You should be defeating these crazy bitches together. Um, but yeah, so those are the two things that the, right now that I'm picking up that the karmic does not want the masculine to know. Number one was that... Number one... Sorry about that. Number one was that she's at that breaking point. So you have to just go through the chaos and you have to protect yourself in every area, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. You have to be safe. You have to be strong. Um... You know, you got to watch your back, not give your address out. Be careful. But, um, but yeah, she's giving up. This is like, this is the last hurrah, basically. And she doesn't want you to know that. She wants you to think, some of them are saying, oh, I'm going to do this for months or years or blah, blah, blah. No, this is like, they're giving it their everything. They're giving, they're pulling on energy they don't even have. They're, the karmics are exhausted. They're pulling on energy they don't even have to try to take the masculine and feminine down. And it's just not going to work. Like I said, it's coming back on the karmics tenfold. Anything that they wish them... Anything that they try to do, it's all coming back on them tenfold. These karmics are about to lose jobs. They're about to lose, you know, jobs that maybe were high paying that lasted a while. Um, homes. And anyone helping them is going to lose those things too. So it's not a good energy for the karmics at least. But um, but yeah, that's, that's number one thing is that you have to be strong right now. No matter what she threatens, you need to be strong and protect yourself and ride through it. And then that second thing was just, you know, what I was just saying, that whatever she's starting to do, she's going to do anyway. So you you and your feminine or you and your masculine, you guys might as well be do, dealing with this together, you know, protecting each other, communicating with each other, um, getting through this energy together. You know, and the karmic can hold on if she wants. The karmic can watch the divine feminine and masculine get married if she wants. She can. She can, she can stalk that long if she wants to. She wants to see the, the engagement ring. She wants to see the wedding. She can go ahead and watch, but it's happening either way, whether she likes it or not. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much just the updates I have for you guys. You know, stay strong, protect yourselves. Don't give these karmics power. Don't feed into their illusions. They're, see them as the weak, pathetic little ants that they are. And as always, if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. And uh, what else? I'll pull some cards really quick. Why not? And I want to say, too, like, the, yeah, like, yeah, okay, so the karmic is threatening the feminine and threatening to do this and that. And, you know, the masculine is, like, trying to protect the feminine. But then the karmic is going ahead and just doing, you know, whatever she's threatening to do, like, hexing the feminine. She's doing it anyway. She's telling the masculine, oh, no, I won't do that as long as you do this. And then behind his back, she goes and hexes the feminine. I want to say, though, even though she is following through with her threats against the feminine, it's not something you need to worry about. Like... Like, it's just not, you know what I mean? Like, the karmic's hexes are just, they're weak, they're pathetic, because there's no one on their side. Even if they've gotten, like, so, like one of their, the karmic's, the, um, even if the karmic's have gotten one of the divine feminine's friends or, you know, someone from their past to help them, that person is a weak little succubus, too, and they're actually going to realize, they're going to run. I see someone, like, running with, like, a fire under their ass where they're going to realize, like, damn, I wanted to be petty. I should not have helped the karmic. That was not worth it. I should have let it go. 
Like, because they're going to be screwed, too. Like, they're they're about to fuck around and find out. It's kind of funny, kind of sad. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, you just, you don't need to worry about the feminine. You don't need to worry about whatever she's threatening because it's just, it's not, sorry, where's my, where's my camera doing that? You just don't need to worry about whatever she's threatening because it's just, it's not going to do anything. Like the hexes she is sending to the feminine, the feminine's protected. The feminine has her shields up. All that energy is coming back on the karmic and whoever is helping the karmic tenfold. You know, whatever she is trying to go after, it's like, Anything that, like, nothing can be taken from the Divine Feminine that's meant to be hers. So, like, let's say that these karmics do stalk and they do find, like, they do message, like, they do reveal something to one of their friends. It was a friend that the Car that the Divine Feminine was meant to lose, so it's not going to matter. You know what I mean? Like, that kind of energy where it's like, oh, she's threatening to do this and that. Okay, well, like, whatever, whatever, like, let it, let the chips fall where they may. You know what I mean? Let everything come to light. Because, like, you know, the, the feminine is not going to lose anything that's meant for her. So you guys just need to know that. Like, if, like, let's say that the feminine lost her job, she would be, the karmic would be forced to watch her find a new job where that pays her better than the old job is. So it's like the karmic would be blessing the feminine almost. Where it's like the divine would step in and, and you know, give the feminine a new job. It was like the, the, the karmic would be like, getting the feminine out of that stagnant energy or something. You know what I mean? It's like the karmic is just, it's going to backfire. Anything the karmic does will backfire on her and that's not going to change. And if the karmic wants to waste her life away, she can, you know, she can, she can, she can keep this up long after the feminine and masculine have gotten married and, you know, had a family together if she wants, but it's, it's she's still, the, the masculine's still never going to love her though. It's just, it's a pathetic energy. It really is. But, um, 